at Suamar uh, leading worship with me this morning. When I was in Chorley, we used to do services on a regular basis between us called Big Sings. So this morning is a bit of a big sing, but it's um, because it's all age worship, it's geared quite a bit more to the children. But we're all going to be children this morning, so when we do actions and we sing in Swahili, and whatever we do, we're all going to join in and we're just going to have a good time and we're going to praise God together. So it's wonderful that you're all here this morning. I'm going to invite the children to come to the front, because our first two that uh, Sue was going to lead, because Mark's lost his voice, are uh, English and Swahili, but Mark is going to drum, but he's not using a normal drum, he's using a bucket. <laughs> but we if forgot to drum. If, but if the children want to come to the front, you can wave the flags anyway. So come to the front and stay at the front, but I'll hand over to Sue. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Am I need to do something? Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Very good morning, everyone. Psalm 47 says this, sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises, for God is the King of all the earth, sing to him a psalm of praise. And so we are going to begin our worship by singing hymns of praise. We're going to do this unaccompanied with a little bit from the bucket. Have you got your flags? We'll sing it in the English first, and then we'll sing it in the Swahili. To my African brothers and sisters, if my pronunciation is wrong, please correct me at the end. Just go with it. Yes. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to start by singing. Brothers and sisters, are we there with our pronunciation, or is that not correct? Uh, sorry, that is not Swahili. Uh, it's not. It's South African. It's Kose. It's Kose. It's, it's so it's Kose. Thank you very much. Okay, let us come to God in prayer and praise Him. Let us pray. Gracious God, you are an awesome God. You are the creator of everything. The stars twinkle and light up our night sky because you place them there. The sun and the moon shine down down brightly on us because you made them. You make sandy beaches that we can walk on barefoot to watch waves tumbling in seas and oceans. You made mountains that we can scramble to the top of to see the vastness of the fields and valleys you have created. You have made trees and flowers that change in colour and appearance to give us a world of variety and delight. Our world is full of surprises as our seasons change. 
And so we come before you this morning to praise and thank you for the wonderful word you have created because you are a truly awesome God. We praise your name. And as we praise you, we remember that you not only gave us life, but you also hold our lives and the lives of everyone in the whole world in your hands. We praise you because not only are you a God of love, but you sent your son Jesus to prove that your love is real. In him, you have given us life that is real, life as you always meant it to be. We praise you for the Holy Spirit, the power for life. It is only with the help of the Holy Spirit that we can care and worship as you meant us to. And so this morning, gracious God, we thank you for our minds to think and things to learn, for food to eat and sustain us, for time spent with family and friends, for hearts to love and for words of hope and peace to share with one another. Creator God, the whole world is in your care. Everyone matters equally to you. We are sorry for not always serving you as we should, for not always sharing your love and compassion to the people around us as you planned. We're sorry that sometimes the things we say and do make it harder for other people to know you and your love for them. Lord, open our hearts. Open our minds and our lives that all we do in the week to come may bring glory to your name. May we continue to listen to you and to follow in the footsteps of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. So before we say our Lord's Prayer, going to sing it again. Just one line taken from the South African text. It goes like this. Your will be done.
let us continue to praise our gracious God. Let's stand and sing together. Great is thy faithfulness. to really cling on to God I'd like to bring a memory verse and this is a lovely short one from Ephesians it says be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power to just go back thank you one more one more are we going never mind be strong in the Lord and his mighty power remember that through Jesus we can achieve everything for our God. He keeps us strong. Now, I'm going to be led by you children. Have we got all the children who've been learning this song? No. No, not sure. We've been doing this song with Susie. <coughs> shall we give it a shall we give it a go? Okay, every move I make. Thank you. The children have been learning that in junior church, but I don't think you've been practicing for very long, have you? They just said uh, once. And there's a lot of children away this week, as there is a lot of people away. We're talking about um, what makes us strong spiritually, but it's all very well being strong spiritually. You've got to do something with it, and that's what God wanted Samson to do. So I was thinking about strengths of different people. And isn't it always, when you start to think about the strengths of people, that you can actually see the weaknesses first? I think that's just our makeup of human beings, that you look at somebody and you can see all the faults in them and all the weaknesses, and sometimes you can't see the strengths. So I was thinking about my friend Sue. She has only two faults. (laughs) Not everything she does and everything she says, but she has two faults. She has a fault about a weakness. She has a weakness for shoes. She's got... For Sue, like, like shoes. normal shoes on this morning. She normally wears something that's very bright and red. And these have got bits of red on and some dots. And she does buy a lot of shoes. They wouldn't let me get all dainty in red shoes. No, they so wouldn't. Bad, they it had to be, had to be black. black. So that's one of, I see that as one of Sue's weaknesses. But I also see that she works too many hours. <laughs> and she's always getting told, you work too many hours. And, and we look at each other and we can see sometimes the weaknesses in each other. But isn't it always that we look for the strengths in people? And that is what God wants us to do. And then to think about what our strengths are and to use them in his service. So this morning... We have seen Sue's strengths in leading worship and in singing and you've not heard her play her instruments before, in leading worship and doing that. But also she's got strengths that God has given her uh, as a minister to talk to people. If I've got something I want to talk to somebody about, Sue is often the person that I will go to to talk to because I see that as her God-given strength. Those, Those are just a few things. There are many, many more. But what are the strengths that God has given you? Now, you might not be able to identify your own strengths. And I'm hoping that you're sitting near somebody that knows you, or knows you quite well. So, rather than me tell you what your strengths are, I'm going to ask you to tell each other. So, just for two minutes, two or three minutes, talk to the people around you about what you perhaps see as their strengths... Or what are the strengths that God has given you to use in his service? What are the gifts that God has given you to strengthen the church and to use in his service? So I'm just giving you a few minutes. We're now going to be very modest. You two been talking. Well, we just said that we couldn't say no. <laughs> can't, can't, can't say, say no. no. Is that a strength? Well, it could be human love. Yeah, as well. Yes. Anybody else? Ah, okay. Again, 
pray for others. You can. And I can share the word of God of what I've gone through when someone is going through the same. Yes. I know how to, to help them because I know how to help myself as well. So I can share the word of God with them and pray for them. And, and, and actually, yes, I completely agree with you. That, that is your gift. And actually, sometimes we're very modest about our gifts, but if we know what our gift is because it's been given by God, then it is right to share it. So thank you. Anybody else want to share? Mel is very tolerant. Oh, you've not known me very long. <laughs> That's a good strength. Tolerance is something that the world needs. Anything else? Oh, sorry. Let's all got the microphone. Strong friendships. Strong friendships. Yeah. And a great sense of humour. Yes, I yes. Add. <laughs> I'll never forget your story about the squirrel. <laughs> Peter. You do have a sense of humour. And a brilliant French accent, may I say. <laughs> Lots of actors. Anybody else want to share their gift or somebody else's pen? Uh, on one side, I've got compassionate for, uh, for Adam um, and uh, Meryl, patience, because she lives with Joe. <laughs> she lives with Joe, that's the <laughs> I think it might have something to do with Julian Church as well. <laughs> Anybody else want to share their gift or anybody else's gift? Strength to talk to people, even strangers. Yes, and that, that's a really important strength and a gift to have, isn't it, when you live in a world that is really lonely. Anybody else want to share? Joyce is always cheerful and young at heart. Always cheerful, young at heart. You are, you are. You're a joy to visit. Leave it later. God wants us to be nothing more than the people he wants us to be. He has called us all to follow him. He has given us all gifts and strengths. And he wants us to grow strong in our love for him and share it with other people. And it's so lovely to see our young people this morning. I pray that they will really be nurtured in this church, that there's love of God will grow, that they will stay strong in faith for him. But of course we can't always be strong. Sometimes life takes its difficulties upon us, ill health, financial worries, family worries, whatever those may be. Sometimes it is difficult to be strong. But what we need to do is turn to Christ. Christ will give us the strength we need. So I pray this morning as a church community here in Bolton, you will continue to grow strong in your love for one another as a church family and in your love for God and in his son, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. We're going to have some prayers of intercession. Is there anyone you would like me to pray for? Please just mention their Christian name and no more. If uh, anything about the situation, if there's somebody that you'd like us to pray for this I morning. Don't. Anybody else? Lynn Gilbert. Yeah. So we come back. Let's share the grace together. The grace, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.